The government has embarked on a process of restructuring the public service to make it leaner and effective. The exercise that is expected to be finalized by November this year will evaluate the competencies of more than 700,000 public servants and lead to the redeployment or transfers of some of the workers while those deemed excess will be laid off. The rationalization exercise will involve carrying out capacity assessment, restructuring, undertaking human resource and skill audit, staff redeployment and transfers where necessary after capturing and analyzing biometric data. The rationalization also targets ghost workers who will be weeded out once all the biometric details of the public servants are captured and a database established. The public wage bill currently stands at 541 billion shillings, that is more than 43% of the national budget. A task force appointed by President Uhuru Kenyatta last year to overhaul policies and laws governing state corporations revealed that the government was losing at least 1.8 billion shillings annually through remuneration for ghost workers. So this exercise will move in tandem uh, because all we are all interested in is the service delivery and paying the worth of every of those positions that are deployed towards um, serving the public. The restructuring process could also result in mass transfers and redeployment in both the national government and the county governments. The government has however assured the public servants that the exercise will be undertaken professionally amid fears of resistance from some workers who will be affected or even politicization. Once we have come up with a structure, then we have to populate it with the current staff by looking at their staff competencies, especially being able to answer where are their competencies most suited for. We have consulted all institutions that are involved, and that should be in itself a shield uh, to ensure that we do not get to a situation where this process is politicized. It remains unclear how many public servants will be sent packing or redeployed. However, the committee spearheading the exercise has put in place mechanisms through which aggrieved workers can seek redress. You could find certain counties that don't have certain capacities which are in excess in other counties or in national government. Mm -hmm. Don't start counting the numbers because this is not a numbers game. This is about efficiency and productivity and improving service delivery both at national and county level. The government has begun implementing recommendations of the Abdikadir Task Force, including trimming the number of state corporations from 262 to 187. At least 42 corporations will be dissolved, while 28 will be merged, with another 22 having their roles transferred to other government agencies. Francis Gashore Monday Special.